Okay, just with that link. JavaScript is a small program embedded in a web page. It looks like this. In the HTML code, when you look at the source, you will see something. This is for the KPS code. Other software may have a bit different code, but it's all between the script and end script. This is placed on each and every web page of your website. And what this file does is it sends, whatever it's loaded, it sends data to this server. Basically, jdc.bitcraft.com. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? It sends the data of the request and records its own log file. At the end, we get another log file. We'll, uh, in, in a few seconds, I will compare and, and explain because there is a difference between the, the, the two methods. But at the end, we got two types of log files, one generated by the server, one generated by each and every web page of our website. Let's talk about architecture for a second. So the issue that you're saying is that uh, it's not either uh, JavaScript uh, or web on, but we can easily utilize both. Well, yes and no. You can utilize both in some cases, but most vendors offer, offer you the, to choose if you want web logs or if you want JavaScript traffic. You have with some versions you can just integrate both of them, both ways. But it's very, very high end. At the end of the day, you have to choose. Okay. The main players in this uh, slide are our computer, the visitor, the web server of the website we're visiting, a proxy server of, uh, for instance, uh, Internet the Hub or Unionet or whatever ISP, and the tracking server for web analytics. The big thing, so if I can move this, this. The data collector, exactly. And the web page we are visiting. Let's start with the log file. I'm the visitor, I'm getting, I'm clicking a link, and getting into a web page. The web page is now being pulled from the web server of the same website. For instance, if I go to Wala or to Yahoo, I click Yahoo on my browser, the, the browser sends a request come here, the server sends back information and presents the data on my web page. At the same time, an entry was written in the log file of the web server, for instance, Yahoo. Okay? Now, here it comes a bit tricky. When I go to Yahoo, a lot of people go to Yahoo. So if everybody goes to the same server, it will crash. So sometimes they use a proxy to make things go faster. When they use a proxy or caching from my computer, sometimes I will not go to the server. So sometimes when I go and see the out page, whether it came from my cached memory or from the proxy server, there will be no entry in the log file. This is one of the main cons of uh, log file analysis, as the accuracy may be hurt. Now the second approach, which is the JavaScript session. I am the user with my cache page, with the proxy server, with the log files, and with the data collector. I'm going to a web page. Once I clicked and got into the web page, I loaded the piece of code that I showed you before, which is a tracking code. It doesn't matter whether I use a cache page or a log file or a proxy server, I, I downloaded the page and I told him, please show up. When it shows up, the JavaScript is loaded and it sends information to the data collector and gets that information. This way the accuracy is much better because whether I'm using a proxy, cache, log file, or whatever, 
the, the tracking is based at the same second on the web page. Is that clear at all? Okay. So the bottom line is that JavaScript and you are effective and more accurate simply because it bypasses what was in the course? Yes. It, yes. There are solutions for the second option, but yes. It's more accurate. Are there any issues with things top of the yeah, oh, yeah. That, that's the con. Okay. Then comes the question. Log files, JavaScript, what should I do? All sounds very appealing. I try to uh, summarize and divide the whole um, considerations into a few groups. First of all, availability. They were there in the past, they will be there in the future. It's a part of the usual activity of the web server to log everything it does. So whatever vendor I'm going to use, whatever web hosting or web design or website at all I'm going to use, the log stays the same because it's on the server forever. In some cases, especially with small websites or with very specific hosting companies, one cannot get access to these raw log files. It happens. When it does, I have no option but to use the JavaScript. Next one is accuracy. As you well understood, accuracy of the JavaScript tracking is much better. With a higher degree of accuracy, and where pages retrieved from the user cache or proxy, they will still be recorded. Because log files are less accurate, but can be made much more accurate, even more than JavaScript sometimes, when using cookies. JavaScript use user behavior only. As I said, because it records the, the load of the page, the robots, the search engines, the spiders, don't do the whole click and retrieve all the information, they just, they just crawl the page. Therefore, the JavaScript uh, um, collectors cannot record and analyze properly what spiders do. This is... Uh, yes and no. Okay. Everything is this and no, by the way. Um, it's an advantage <coughs> if your uh, load analyzer cannot determine which is which. But if the other way is that you can determine which is which, it's very important that we show you later to understand where the robots visited and where the website. Because if there are pages they are not seen for some reason, I need to know this. I need to understand why and what, where, why, all these questions, I need to, to know them. And the JavaScript uh, collection method will not provide this, uh, this answer. Last one, JavaScript can't capture everything. Some server activities like redirects, PDF downloads, etc. are packed with a script. Uh, it's a bit high-end stuff. Basically, I can tell you from, from our experience, um, in the past we used log analyzers, JavaScript, uh, um, um, tracking methods, everything. For the basic websites, for the basic needs, both both work. Okay? When you go to the high end stuff, you need a high end tool and it doesn't matter whether it's JavaScript or um, log file, you can get the results. <coughs>